Okay, so GU broke our trend line. It went into profit about 30 pips, and then it broke the trend line. So I just added the second trend line here just now. Uh, I just saw it happen. I didn't want. I don't want to be. I don't want to feel like I forced in the market. Um, so I'm just going to extend the raise to see how price moved in the past with this trend line. Because as clear as day, the price was respecting it here. It broke above. So in any event, I'm looking for it to come back down the retest. Just off of this one trend line here, looking for it to come back down the retest here. So at bare minimum, we could get back to entry. At bare minimum. Pardon me? You were breaking up, so I didn't hear what you were saying. Oh. So I was saying the trend line got broken. And so what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for price to come back down to retest the trend line. So at least we'll get it back to entry at bare minimum. But I added the second trend line here because I saw the wicks. I just grabbed it, went over and came down. And I saw the touches. But I don't want to I don't want to feel like I forced in this this trend line here. I don't want to feel like I'm forcing it, so I'm just going to extend it to see how price was reacting on it in the past. I see another touch here. Another touch here. Another touch here. So I kind of like this trend line too, but it isn't where we need it to be, where price is. So I know when I did my, my weekly outlook, I drew a trend line here to say that price could go either way. But because price was respecting this trend line here, and this was the actual trend, I, I went with this one. I went with the sell opposed to the buy. So it's starting to look a little blurry to me. Too much going on. Yeah, so um, I would actually, I actually got out this trade. I had my trailing stop loss on it, so it kicked me out automatically. I left my computer running. Um, so price really could go either way here, but when I put a, put a horizontal line here, I see previous support, which is now resistance. The market is still trending down. It didn't create a new high as yet, so it's still in a sell. Momentum. So it's it's just in a tricky place right now. I would I would say definitely hold on to the trade. But if you're not comfortable, you could get out the trade. If you want to put a stop loss on it. Well, before we get to the stop loss. Support I'd like to see price get out this area here before we could make a decision. If price goes up, we don't want to be in a trade no more, but be looking for it to come down, retest, at least get us to this trend line. 
which would be our entry. So either way, we're looking for price to take us back to our entry if you want to stop loss. I don't want to put it too close. If you want to put a stop loss on it, I'll tell you put a stop loss at 1.24900. And that would be 40 pips from entry. From our original entry of 124500. If I'm not mistaken. But I see the support level, the previous resistance turned support here. And price is playing around this, this, this area here. On a smaller time frame, just waiting to see how price really moves. And you need price to move in one direction. If it goes up, if it goes up, it's going to break, retest, and then continue going up. So I, that's why I say here would be a perfect stop loss, 40 pips. You don't want to take a loss, but you don't want to end up up here either. We don't want to end up 100 pips in the hole. Even though price already went higher. It'll still be a smaller loss. But I am still expecting it to come back down at least to entry. All right, so that's all I have. Anyone have any questions? No questions, thank you. Let me just check one more pair out. Actually, Mali, hey. a trade that you talked about um, in your outlook earlier this week, mm -hmm. that's still you know, looking too good. Which, which one that is? UJ. Oh, UJ, yeah. UJ, UJ got the same thing going on. Uh, I think I actually called that one. Hold on, let me stop recording right quick. 